Objective accomplished. Commander, we are currently detecting coded bitstream signals from the Collective. Decoding. Warriors of the Collective, we are ready to destroy the intruders who pollute our lands. Those of the Project are not of the Machine. They have been denied its blessing. We who have embraced the power of the Machine have a destiny to sweep away such weak creatures. They shall fall before the might of the Collective. Warriors of the Collective, attack and destroy all who resist the Machine. Attack! Commander, we are detecting ground and aerial forces approaching from the north. Hold your position and repulse these attacks. Then seek out and eradicate the enemy's northern base. Mission timer activated. Enemy base detected. And now you know why I had my forces sitting here at the start of Beta 2. Alpha 11 was a stage with 30 minutes, but you'd probably win or lose the match in the first three. Beta 3 is a stage with a 120 minute timer, but again, you'll probably win or lose the match in the first three. Aren't online guides great? Immediately when the stage begins, assume control of the MBG and have it press north right into the collective's face. They should have already blown their, uh, collective load on your defenses, and our MBG has proven in the first two beta missions to be superior to theirs anyway. Your artillery team can, if it was positioned well, provide support fire all throughout the opening engagement up until you take down their southern facing wall, so no need to move them. Structure under attack. Power transferred. Power transferred, eh? Guess we managed to pull the batteries out of Alpha's X transport. That was a multi-lancer volley into our lead MG tank, and it only took half its health. More technologically advanced my eyes. Uh, still, let's keep up this back and forth movement to let him escape. When you get the chance, grab the party returning from Beta 2 and move them off the LZ to an open area. This should cause them to split up, allowing you to pick your MBG units to reattach to the commander after they finish. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Under attack. Unit 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 
under attack. Signed to Commander. Unit under attack. Assigned to commander. Unit under attack. Enemy base eradicated. Once the middle base is down, move up some trucks to start occupying it, starting with a repair bay. Congratulations, the hardest part of the stage is over. Now we just have to make sure not to screw up for two hours. I know these buildings are ravaged by nuclear blasts, but given I can bring a skyscraper down with three hits from a 50 cal machine gun, or pack 20 seconds of focus by a targeting laser, I'm glad I wasn't living in them pre-collapse. Reporting. Group 3 reporting. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Major research completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Enemy base detected. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Enemy base detected. One reporting. Right here is something that should be scary, but just isn't. A dozen assorted cyborgs, heavy cannons, lancers, and I'm going to deal with it by face rolling my MBG into them. If you're into challenges, don't fret. The next stage will make up for this. Unit under attack.
unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Group three reporting. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group two reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group 3 reporting. Group 2 reporting. Assigned to sensor. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. 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 Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Structure 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 under attack. Group one reporting. You can see here a wall of defenses guarding apparently nothing. The collective base is up on the cliff behind it, but the actual entrance to their base is on the eastern side. These are just here to give your MBG experience, I guess. May as well oblige them. Once you have a few defenses up here to intercept counterattacks, send your MBG north to remove their towers. Structure under attack. Unit 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 under attack. Artifact detected. Unit under attack. Unit 
under attack. Unit under attack. The only remaining difficulty to this stage is right here. While we've been handily dealing with everything the Collective has, this is going to force us to deal with our old friend, the Choke Point. We can get onto the Eastern Plateau and remove their cyborg factories easily enough, but the path here, as well as the base's dual Choke Point entrances here and here, are going to be the parts where we can no longer just attack move to victory due to the narrow pathing and Collective Bombards here and here. There are two ways to get past the first point. Option one involves going around the eastern edge, wiping out their right side bombards with little resistance, and then approaching the front of their base directly. If these guys were more damaging, I'd endorse that entirely. The only thing to remember when going that route is to pull up your trucks and build a repair bay about here to prevent a poorly path retreat. Option two is the direct approach taking advantage of our superior armor tech to just deal with what they dish out. So once the cyborg plateau is cleared, that's what I'll be doing. The things I do have to keep in mind are to wait on the push until I've just defeated a collective tank pack to minimize the amount of fire any retreating tank gets, as well as trying to keep my MBG making little squiggle movements so that any retreating tank can get by. It's just like the southern pass of Alpha 5, only vertical this time. Unit under attack. Under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Under attack. Group three reporting. Group two reporting. Group one reporting. Artifact recovered. Unit under attack. Group three reporting. Group two reporting. Group three reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit 
tank pack down, cyborg plateau down. Let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Enemy A erected. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. With the threats to our right gone, we can skirmish the Collective at the entrance to their base all we want. So long as we don't get any retreating units hung up, we should be fine. They do have factories and trucks in base, so we won't win through small attrition. Pick your moments and make sure any push does significant damage. Under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Under attack. Unit under attack. Major research completed. Group two reporting. Group three reporting. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Group two reporting. Group three reporting. Group one reporting. Just swinging my commander around the MBG a bit here. Yeah, why not? I'll drop in a final forward repair bay. Group two reporting. Unit under attack. Assigned to sensor. Group three reporting. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit 
under attack. One reporting. Major research completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. We will leave this hard point as the designated survivor. Technically, this was another way to access the collective base, but due to its twisty nature and being just as defended as the other route, it wasn't the access of choice. With all enemy artillery gone, let's use our own artillery to safely remove the remaining structures, and then have the floaty McSpottoms retrieve their stuff. Construction completed. Construction completed. Enemy base eradicated. Group two reporting. Group three reporting. Artifact recovered. Major research completed. Up until now, the enemy VTOLs have been little more than a nuisance. Beta 1's strikes were with cluster bombs, which could barely damage Artifact bunkers. Recovered. Beta 2 was air free, and for some reason, the airstrikes never materialized during this mission. For reference, the planes that I guess were too scared of me to even show up use a combination of lancers and the nigh worthless cluster bombs. If you aren't as lucky in your own playthrough, you just need to be a bit more cautious at the choke points, being sure not to push into one if they have land forces present, as a combination of choke point, land force, and lancer planes can quickly take someone out. The strategy for the stage remains the same, however. Beta 4 is going to change that, so let's get an AA unit designed. May as well make it the heaviest possible, since it will be chilling with our MVG. I'll take four of the tenured units I have chilling on the base's south side, including the uh, flamers, and recycle them into hurricane pythons. 
This brings my command group up to 22 units, the campaign's absolute maximum for a single commander. The remaining semi-experienced tanks south of the main base will have a different career path. With that done, we still have 75% of the stage's timer left. I'm going to put that to good use on the whole post-stage research and construction phase, so let me fade to... Hold on, I seem to be getting a phone call. Project Command, this is the Mouse Master. It's about damn time you picked up. Where's my ship? Uh, oh, oh, is this David? <sighs> this is Lieutenant Brigadier General David Oximandius Alphonse III. Of Alpha. Yes, this is David. Right, right, David of Alpha. I, I, I won't forget again, Mr. Alpha. Um, your ship, uh, I'm pretty sure I sent it back to you. Could you, uh, could you check your landing zone again? Sure, let's see. Landing zone, check. Totally, completely empty. How about I look here? Oh, my back pocket. What's that? Oh, totally empty. Wonder where else we could store it. Let's check the front. Oh, look, I found something. No, that's just lint. It's hard to get that confused with a ship, but I don't have a ship. Where's my ship? Well, I, I suppose it's possible that it could be laying in a ditch in the ex-Chicago area somewhere. Perfect. That's exactly where it should be, not on my landing strip. When is it coming back? Um, well, I uh, got good news. I can start shipping the pieces back to you immediately. So you're saying I should stock up on my duct tape, then? You owe me a ship. Uh, well, I mean, th this, is, this isn't this is an ideal situation for anyone. Um, and we did clear out the new paradigm before I left your area, so I, I still kind of need betas, uh, football. But I'll tell you what, uh, as soon as I'm done with these Klingon wannabes, uh, I will take the beta transport and give it back to you and work on building a replacement here. How does that sound? I expect all my units in there as well. Um, you're, you, oh, you mean the the large number of tanks? That, I, I did rescue some units, but they were like bright green. I thought we had agreed on a, on a red paint scheme. It's Christmas. Of course they were green. Don't you have any sense of seasonal joy or festivities? God. Right, right. All right, fine. Back to red. But I want my ship back. DOA out. Right, right. Gotcha. Bye. Okay, so where was I? Right, about to fade out. So what I have set up. In the southeast corner, I've added a couple Inferno emplacements. They won't live too long under fire, but they'll be good for a shot or two. At the southeast of the base, I added a few cannons. South of the base is the eight semi-experienced but unnecessary cannons, and my next stage away team of four AA, four Lancer, and two Heavy Bobs are waiting on the LZ. Going up the west edge, I've got multiple stations of sensors, with one of those new CB towers next to each one that I promise to explain eventually. Also, my MBG is waiting here to jump into action for Beta 5, with a repair bay right next to them and bombards and structures in support. Various bunkers line the west edge of the map, bottom to top as well. Up the center of the map, I've got multiple lines of defense with bombards backing each one, and AA pits scattered liberally around the whole area. I've removed the repair bays, though. And then at the very top, this very modest defensive setup. I know what you're thinking. Mouse Master, why stop here? Why not add more? The answer is simple. I'm still waiting on a few more technologies. What you see here is only half of what I plan to have. A, yes, this is going to be a ton of stuff. B, that doesn't mean it's going to be unnecessary. It'll be quite a few stages in the future, but you'll see why I'm going whole hog, trust me. Also, as with Alpha 10, eventually we will get hit by attack teams that all spawn on a single square. However, unlike Alpha 10, I don't remember which square they come in on, so I just decided to play it safe and go full Maginot line. Yes, I chose that term intentionally. I'm going to bring up the artillery team to finish off the final structure, as I will be calling them into Beta 4, whereas I want my MBG in position for Beta 5. And now, technologies! 
Weapon research completed. The rocket autoloader, making our lancers fire faster, is always nice. Weapon research completed. Hyperfire chain gun. I said in Beta 1 that a specific technology in the future would keep our machine guns relevant. This is not that technology. This is just a nice but minor fire rate upgrade. Vehicle research completed. Panther medium body. Not much use to us, but the prereq to... Vehicle research completed. Dense composite alloys. Vehicle research completed. As well as the cyborg version. Given the stomping we gave this stage, one might wonder if even more survivability is necessary, but you haven't seen Beta 4 yet. Weapon research completed. The Inferno Heavy Flamer. Weapon research completed. A flamethrower damage upgrade. Structure research completed. And the related defensive structure. While the Collective don't have the thermal resistance the new Paradigm did, the fact is that this weapon's short range and low hit points don't do it any favors. I'll stick to the long range weapons for my anti-bunker and cyborg needs. Time to make the customary post-stage save. And now, it's time to get to the real action. Objective accomplished.